with Tom Shaw, quite the performance. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Um, the, the the fact that we won and some noise in the in the building and and in the ground. Um, we're not going to get too carried away with the performance because um, there's there's absolutely loads to work on, loads of detail to add to when we've got the ball. Um, we need to be better. We need to be play more aggressive. Um, and yeah, I'm pleased with the performance, but uh, watching it um, today on our home turf, big pitch, lovely pitch, we can be miles better, I think, especially in possession. I think we can, the players that we've got and the players we're recruiting, I think we can we can be a real handful for, for teams. Um, but I thought we played a little bit passive, especially in the first half. Um, without the ball, the endeavour and the work rate was, was outrageous, like unbelievable really at times. The, the willingness, considering where we are in pre-season, the third game, and uh, that's the first 90 minutes for the boys that played 90 minutes. The, the attitude, and application, and, and stamina was was through the roof. So that's great. It gives you a good base, um, and we looked pretty organised when we didn't have the ball. But yeah, still loads to work on. But for where we are in this in this process of, of pre-season and building for a, an exciting year ahead, um, pretty good performance. It is like you say, it's almost tick boxes in pre-season. You're looking to add a little bit each time. And as long as you can see those basics there that run through the core, you'll be happy. Yeah, yeah, we, we, um, we did the basics okay. I still, I still think the, like when we watch this game back as, as a group and, and we do some clips and stuff like that, I think there'll be loads that we, we need to do better. Um, so nobody getting carried away. It was, it was a, a professional enough performance. We had good spells. We just want longer spells of when we were, yeah, we, we passed them off the pitch at times, but it was for 90 second spells. I want that to be for longer. Um, and yeah, but we, we will, we'll be back as a, as a group of staff after watching the game on what we can do, what sessions can we do, what personnel do we need to keep going to, to what we want to be. Um, but definitely a, a really positive step toward, towards where we want to be. So. Pleasing evening, great for the, the fans to be back in. Like that is the massive winner tonight, really. Just an atmosphere, um, some good noise and, and energy from them at times, which was which was great. And for them to see a, a new group and a new team win against Lincoln City, um, a, a good night for them and a good night for the football club. So the game's now starting to come thick and fast. Yeah, we've um, got a really good one on, on Saturday. Two two managers that I know very very well from my, my playing career and. Um, I think it'll be a bit more realistic to, to what the season will be like um, with the, the style of game and the type of game. So it'll be a good one for us. They're the level above. We've got some really good players, two very good managers, and uh, it'll be a really good test. But I think it's one that we, we need now. We've we've probably dominated three games, so we need a game where it might be tough at times, and uh, I think Saturday could be that. And again, looking to see different things in match action. A few more different faces? or but Possibly, yeah. Um, the trials have done well. Um, there's some conversations to have in the next couple of days. Uh, but yeah, look, we're, we're looking to, to do the final bits of recruitment, um, which may, may take a little bit of time. But uh, we're, we're in a good place with the group that we've got. Obviously, a, uh, an addition today, which I thought was superb, in Curtis Morrison. Um, so we'll do the last bits of work that, that we need. Uh, we do have four loan signings. Um, that, that will be joining us that we've agreed which is, which is really exciting for very very talented young players so we're looking forward to them joining us um, and that will hopefully be in the next sort of week 10 days which will be a, a big bolster to the quality of the group and the season is fast approaching it's getting serious <laughs> there's still a bit of time we, we, we need to work on a few things but yeah everyone's getting excited it's a I think a nice steady upward curve to our work so far and we want to be peaking on the the 14th of August so um, yeah it's it's round the corner still got plenty of, of work to do on the training pitch um, and, and, and bringing some personnel in so it's getting exciting I'll give you that but we've still got some work to do and, and we'll concentrate on tomorrow rather than August the 14th for now yeah I think we've also got the confirmation of another game getting slotted into the schedule as well York Amateurs yeah have been at it yeah can you give us a little bit of an insight into what are you hoping to get out of that one? Yeah, we, we needed another game just to, we're trying to um, hit a certain amount of minutes for the players through pre-season. So we, we were going to need another game to top up anyone that needs some more more minutes. It might be a chance to see a few more trialists at that point of the season as we're getting a little bit closer to the start. So 
a game that we needed. I, I, I know they they put together a really good team this year for the, the level that they're in, so that will be a really tough match. Um, and we want to play here on our, on our patch for another experience for the players. So that's on the 3rd of August and, and, and will be a good one, hopefully. Cheers, Mel. Congratulations on tonight, Tom. Cheers, Rob.